Do you know what dress up means? Dress up. To dress up. Hey, salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Ma'alim Muhammad Basha. Welcome to Klam College. Like I said, we have a live lesson today. We class live. We have a class live. Also, classes offline are on the same way. We have a class live. We have a class live. We have a class live. We have a Okay, I don't know how to do it. 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 I don't know how to So, in today's lesson, we are going to look at dress up. You already know what dress means, but what does it mean to dress up? I'm going to do it. 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 In today's lesson, we are going to look at phrasal verbs. Basically, dress up means what I'm going to do. To dress something to wear something nice, okay? For example, we are going to a very fancy restaurant, so you need to dress up. Dress well, beside So I shall focus up on Andona, Eriesa is Kurara, Yamashi, and Andona. So let's get into it and below. Hey, well, I'm back. Here we have almost eight razor verbs. Sidet phrasal verb. Mahanuli phrasal verb ku. Wa kalmada sida hora utakani, for example, bring, okay, bring or hora utakani, ba shaykala raya. For example, a preposition or maybe an adverb. La wada amid ba raya. Okay, so, wa hiyalana sa a new meaning. Da wa subay yalana sa. I mean, ma'ana wa subay yalana sa. Pronunciation ku sidi bu ahana ya. Do ad link in a tukhura. So, inshallah, abnila kirim. For example, back up, instead of saying back up. Okay, you have to make it like almost like one word. Back up, bring down, bring up, things like that. Okay, so new meaning by So today we are going to look at that less, uh, lesson. I should have been again now. So what I want you to do, since it's a live lesson, I want you to leave me your uh, names and where you're watching the video from. I got to get that one and you also make it in there. So let's start and below now, the first one that we have is back up. You've heard in the movies so many times, Hey, we need backup. We need backup. What does it mean? We need support. Okay? We need support. Okay? To support me, someone, it means to back up someone. Okay? To back someone up. Okay? Okay? Police can put it in We need backup. Also, backup, uh, it means to reverse. Okay? You're gonna have to back up your car so that I can go out. Okay? Back up your car so that I can go out. Okay? Back up also means to reverse. Okay? The first one means to support. Okay? The second one means to reverse. Okay? Here we also have bring down. To bring down means to make someone unhappy. Okay? Unhappy. What does, what does it mean to make someone happy? Happy means. For happy, what about unhappy? Unhappy is the opposite of happiness. Okay, to be happy, to be unhappy means to be sad. Okay, bring down means to make someone sad. Okay, bring down, unhappy. Okay, don't bring me down. Okay, and do the job. Hey, get in the cough. Hey, hey, near Chevin. Hey, get humane. Hey, get for happy. Hey, get cheering. Shakada nakab. Okay, I will not bring you down. Okay, Shakadi did the same because Hey, I will not bring you down and I will do the job. Shakadan on Kabania. Hankuri Kuma, man is so handsome, inshallah. Okay, here we have bring up. Bring up to bring something up means in a Wahdibu Sohad al Kato. Okay, topic allowed can't a meshi. For example, we were talking about a different topic. All of a sudden, someone came up and then he started bringing up a different topic, or maybe a week ago happened, or things like that. Okay, bring up means. وحندي بلوسو هذا القاعدة. طبي كلاين لقى هلا وماشي لك يا Okay. Bring up also means to raise. Okay. Raise. What does it mean to raise a child? Raised. Raise means. Okay. For example, my grandmother brought me up when my dad died. مركو أبا هاي دنتي أيدي بيسو كرسي. Okay. كورين تناو حلو استعمال أو كلا. Bring up. Okay. We have raise a verb. Raise basically raise a child. My grandmother brought me up. Bring is a present. Brought is we and pass. Okay, pass we and brought me up. Cut back on something. 
cut back on something. Look at the pronunciation. Cut back on something. You have to link these. Okay? Something no one saw, Kobe. Or Hawaiian. Something. I did I had no corner. Was something. Okay? Merkala so Kobe is a sabbat and no corner. Cut back on something means to consume less. Okay? For example, I used to take a uh, quarter of five spoons spent on it today. A spoon means what? Malgaad, five spoons. Okay, five spoons. So if I need to, if I have to cut back on something, then I'm going to have to take maybe two or two and a half or maybe three. Okay, less than what I used to consume before. Okay, my doctor told me to cut back on sweets. Okay, okay, cheer up, to cheer someone up means to make someone happy. Okay, the moment that you start sharing the video, you guys are the moment I blow down the Shergarasan video, then you are cheering me up, you are making me happy. Okay, it's the opposite of bring down. What does it mean to bring down? Bring down to make someone unhappy. What about cheer up? Cheer up, to make someone happy. Okay, I brought you this to cheer you up. Okay. What about count on? Count on. Okay, you can cut the T, you don't have to pronounce it, and then link those. It's good. Count on. To count on someone, it means in al qaf at the other sanat. Okay, I'm counting on you. Yani wa ku tir sanat wa ku kalsona hai wa hasan kaka bahana tsokawat. Okay, for example, I gave him some money to bring, uh, to buy me some groceries. Okay, so I don't trust him that much. Okay, or let's say he's my son. So whenever he goes out, he used to he, he what he does is like he plays a lot or he goes hangs hangs out with his friends or things like that. So what I'm gonna say to him, hey, I am making dinner. Okay, so come back early. Okay, hey, I'm counting on you. Okay, so don't forget, I allow him. So today we were looking at these razor verbs. We are going to look at these razor verbs. And the verb that we are going to look at is the verb that we are going to look at the preposition or the adverb. Or the meaning of the verb. This is the verb. For example, different meanings. So you can see the verb that you can use in the verb that you can use. So you need to have in your mind that they could have different meanings. Okay? So in order for you to understand all of these, Raise the verbs, you need to read them, okay? And also start using them. Start using them. In English, we don't have raise the verbs, but we don't have to use them. For example, raise, you might hear bring up. So if you don't know what bring up means, it's going to be a very big problem for you, okay? So I don't have to say, this was Kalam Kala Chagisa, Hawaiian Kalam Kala Chagisa, with Ali Muhammad Basha, he said, and you can see it live. فيديو جاي لاش شرق رأي لما أنا صحابتي نا يبراه بالشدة دوت كده كل شربة. see you next time if you have a question about the lesson leave it in the comments. أدو ما سنتين offline كم بلاو نيجي online كبا ونجلس عندهم تاني شالا بدي لايكريم. نبرده حاجة سرعة مكوحة قاسية إني كم مغلب. السلام عليكم see you next time.